Brown fan, yellow compressor, purple is your common other leg of your fan, and red is your common. And uh, this little guy here could have been our culprit. All right, so we got a 35.5 cap. This is one of those original Goodman caps. You can tell by this little sticker here. On these, another way you can tell if, because they always put this label to the front, it'll tell you right there, cap, and it'll have the microfarads here for the fan side, and then a the microfarads for the compressor. That way, for whatever reason, if you're just checking it under load and you can't tell what size cap it is, 35.5, you got 05, 035. Went right past it. So, let's do it. Try and get it on the cleaner side. So, we'll go right here. Yeah, 4.7 on the fan, which is fine. Yeah, but 5.1 on our Herm side. So. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and replace the capacitor. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna check the contactor as well. Now be careful with these. Don't let them short out against nothing. We're gonna do the... Yep. Alright, let's go ahead and grab a capacitor and a contactor. So I want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, Free to Grow. I'm going to need you guys to give this number a call right here. I want to hear the recordings. I want you to play with the AI and let me know what you think. As you know, if you've been rocking with this channel for a little bit, Free to Grow is an AI voice answering system. If you're a business owner with three or more technicians, you know it can be a hassle juggling phone calls, managing technicians, managing jobs, estimates, everything like that. That's where Free to Grow comes into play. It's a no brainer at that point. A key feature with Free to Grow is it integrates seamlessly in with any of the CRMs that you're using, such as Field Pulse, Service Titan, House Call Pro. One of the major benefits is being able to personalize a script that the AI will follow to a T. That way when the customers call in, they get the same experience every single time. 
and it's able to schedule a customer right then and there. That way you're not losing a chance to get a new lead, a new job, or an opportunity out in the field. Another big thing about Free to Grow is that it is a flat monthly rate. You're not gonna pay any overage charges or anything like that where you know it's gonna ruin the budget that you have for the month. So again, if you guys could give this number a call, I wanna hear the recordings. I think it's great. Interact with the AI and set up a demo. Now let's get on with this repair. I'm also gonna grab my umbrella, starting to rain. One shunt contactor, Packard. Now I'm also gonna grab me a, instead of a Titan Pro, I'm gonna get a Titan HD. Bam, Titan HD, these carry 10 year warranties. Little self through here. That's why I'm losing weight so I can fit through these tight spots. Oh, meanwhile, while my shit's just getting wet. this and this and the screw I knocked over I should do it put these in here it's gonna be very very easy similar to the last job these okay, we're gonna bring these out there's nothing on the bottom of this contactor okay and just now, it just separate your wires. I turned off the outdoor, so this is our 24 volts from the contactor, which we checked. All right, common side of your fan over here, we'll put that locked in there. This is your Herm side to your compressor. Put that over there. This orange, we can just, orange or red, whatever color, is our common off of our contactor. So we'll keep that there. And Just pop all these wires off. Just remember what's what. It's really, really that simple. It's black to black and orange and red or red to orange, red, red, and whatever you want to, whatever color you want it to be for the day. Just match them. There we go. And obviously this job, this system is out of warranty. Um, but they need some cooling. I'm in nobody's home right now. So I want them to get back home and have some cooling capacity. On this one, I'm gonna go ahead and install a Packard one pole contactor. Mm. So Remember, I like to the, the tighten these up a little bit. Give them a little nah, nah, I might have over tightened it, but I'd rather have a really tight, secure connection than not having and having a really loose one like so. So we'll pinch this one as well. Blackity black to black. So you can still, even though this has got an insulator on the end, you can still make that bad boy nice and tight, cute and tight. There we go. Make those all nice and tight. I'm gonna do the same thing. I like to just make new
good tight connection there. Same there, cool. I will say something I always did like about the the Goodmans with these straps were they were almost adjustable on the fly, right? Because they kind of give you them the holes there to make them work. So he's out the way. Just make it visible, okay? So we know what size it is for the next guy there, okay? So this is our common, it's coming off our contactor there. That's good and tight. Yellows are Herm. I'm gonna get a little bit tighter. It's a little squeeze. Okay. Purple common from the fan you could take this directly to and then we'll do the same thing with the, the brown is uh, going over here and that's our that's our work I'll get a zip tie on these maybe all right so now we just Clean up. <clears throat> I like to save my boxes here, and that way, next time I go to the supply house, I know exactly what parts I utilize. Also, inside of my CRM, we can utilize our inventory that way. That way, we know what we used on the truck that day, and we can just stock it. Now I, gotta, now I gotta go turn it on. Now that's in a delay, we're gonna go ahead and clean up, put our tools in the truck only because it's raining. I don't wanna keep everything out here too much longer. There we go. Heat rejection now. And that's going to conclude today's video. It's starting to rain pretty good, but obviously it was just a capacitor. But I went ahead and checked the contact or coil since I'm right there, and that was reading out of range. Specifically, there for this customer, that's an issue that probably would have arised. Horized. That's a, probably an issue that would have. I'm really about to say it again. That's probably an issue that would have <laughs> arised. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Oh my god. Anyways, y'all get what I'm saying. Uh, click the links down below, man. Let me know what y'all think. I want to hear your comments. I want to hear your feedback. What's your thoughts on it, man? Seriously. So with that being said, if y'all could smash the like button, consider subscribing if you're new here. All my subscribers, y'all already know. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Later.